Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm in the studio. It's Sunday the 19th. Sunday the 19th of April and uh, it's day 28 of being quarantined. Now, I know I didn't put a video up for the last uh, three days and I kind of went down that rabbit hole of making excuses and, and thinking things weren't good enough and then getting discouraged and then, you know, I actually got really discouraged because our governor announced that we're probably not going to get back to normal until at least May 15th. So we're going to be extending this for, for quite a while here. And, uh, you know, I just... I didn't stick to my routine. And once you break that routine, you know, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backward. And that's essentially what I did for the last bunch of days. You know, I hooked the video games back up. I sat there and played Grand Theft Auto, and uh, which was a lot of fun. You know, it, it got to a point where I had to say, you know what, I got to get back on track. So today's Sunday morning, and that's exactly what I did. You got to structure a routine. You got to have some sort of a, a disciplined set of things that you do each day to keep you on track in times like this. And if you're not doing that sort of thing, and you're like New Jersey where you might be another month, you know, inside your house, now's the perfect time. It's the perfect time to eat right. It's the perfect time to do a little exercise and get your body moving and just come out of this healthier than you went into it. I think that's just a simple goal that everybody could achieve because now we all have the time to do that. So what I did this morning, I set my alarm, 7.30, 7.30 alarm goes off, I'm up out of bed. Don't think about it, just get up, turn your alarm off. Hop right in the shower. I like to take a cold shower in the morning. I'm talking hop in, put it to extreme cold, as cold as it can go. Let it hit you in the face. It jolts you awake. It neurologically wakes you up. Uh, your body goes through like a scientific thing that just like it shocks you awake. So I really enjoy doing that. I've been doing that for over a year. I started doing that last April when I heard about that in a podcast. Uh, then I went right outside. I ran my 5K. Came back in. Did some push-ups, some pull-ups, some sit-ups, you know, did a little bit of a workout, a little bit of exercise. It took me all of 40 minutes to do, you know. Jumped back in the shower, got dressed, came down here, and uh, now I'm ready to continue my day. It's 10.30 in the morning. I feel absolutely great. So what I want to do to continue this feeling is I need to go look at some cars. You know, I want to get out there and I want to go look at some cars. So the way I see it, the dealership is closed. It's Sunday. I'm going to go from my place to my car to the dealership. I'm gonna take a look and see what's out there, maybe some new stuff that came in, uh, just kind of check out the lot, see what's going on, and then I'm gonna come back. So, you know, it's socially distant, I'm not gonna be around anybody, but it'll give me a chance to kind of get out in the open air, uh, get out in front of some cars, see what's going on in the dealership, and kind of psych myself up to get back into doing car videos once I get back to the dealership. So, I'm taking you with me, let's go. We'll hit the road right now. All right, guys, we're almost there. We're actually uh, maybe a quarter of a mile away. And this is Route 10 in East Hanover going into Livingston. And I got to tell you, there's people on the road. There are people out here for sure. Dealership is here up on the left. If you're not familiar with my channel or if you're new to my channel, uh, this is where I work, Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston. And I've been here at this location. I started here back in 05. It was different ownership back then. But uh, I, I have a whole playlist. It's like the dealership life playlist of videos of what it's like to work at a car dealership. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen that, you go to the playlist section and uh, you can see dealership life. And I think I got 70 something videos out there of what it's like kind of behind the scenes during the sale process and looking at different vehicles and test driving vehicles and just a whole bunch of stuff. A couple of things I noticed along the way is uh, the Dunkin' Donuts was like the only thing that was open. The drive-thru was mobbed. And the, the Volvo store looked to have a tremendous amount of inventory on their lot. So much so that there was a, um, a closed down business up the street. They actually had cars there as well. I don't know if they rent the lot or whatever. But, uh, you know, that could be. I, I did talk to my GM last week and he said that they're still delivering cars to the dealership even though uh, you know, there's no one here to sell them. So stuff is going to be kind of piling up, I would imagine. Let's see what we got. I'm really curious to see if the Trailblazer showed up. Because we do have one that's supposed to be in. We got a bolt plugged in over there. Used cars are pretty much uh, pretty much the same. There's that Lincoln we drove before. That was one of the last videos I made before uh, before this all happened. We ended up uh, trading that Lincoln in in a nice vehicle. It only had a few thousand miles on it. We got a ZR2 back there. 
we got some Camaros in. This is a 2020 Camaro LT uh, RS model in garnet red, which looks absolutely gorgeous. This one has the 10 speed automatic. Uh, MSRP manufacturer suggested retail price starts at 25.5. Once you add options in uh, the destination fee, you're around 32.9 on this with the V6, the 3.6 liter. And then here we got an SS. Now this is a 2 SS in white sunroof this one also has the automatic and this one here msrp starts 42,000, and once you add options and destination you're at around 49 and change a couple of nice vehicles i wouldn't mind putting a test drive video together for you once i get back to work this is our last 2019 corvette this one is an automatic has the dual mode exhaust has nav with the uh, performance data recorder the black wheels Great looking car. I don't know, I haven't looked to see what rebates are and stuff like that, so I don't know you know, what kind of deals they have on these, but um, I'm sure they, they gotta have something special on them to kind of push them out. It's a little, uh, it's a little windy out here. I'm hoping that it's not too windy on camera, but um, yeah, we got a couple nice performance cars here. Traverses we're all loaded up on, you know, which we sell a lot of Traverse, a lot of Equinox, um, tracks, you know, the big SUV store. I really wanted to see if we got a, a Trailblazer in because we're due to get one in very shortly. I'm going to see if it's in the showroom and if it's not, then uh, I'm guessing we didn't get it yet. You know, I'm really looking forward to get uh, to getting back to work. You know, it's like when you you have a purpose of what you do every day and when you lose that it takes a toll here's our area where we're doing deliveries so basically this garage door opens and then inside there which i don't know if you can see on camera there's a nice size table uh two chairs or actually three chairs so finance manager be on one side and then the customer on the other side definite six foot separation or so between uh between them and um you know basically customers that are, are buying cars through the online would come in, sign their paperwork there, and go right back out in their car and, and head out. No uh, no demo of the vehicle, how things work, stuff like that, because you really, you can't be in the car with somebody. It's, uh, it's crazy. Let me just poke my head in here real quick. No, so we got a Blazer, an Equinox, and a Trax. So no Trailblazer yet. I think our Denville store might have got one, and that's on the way home. So I could always just on the way home drive through their lot and see if they have one. And if they do, throw some footage up there for you. We're on Route 46 East. The dealership's actually right here past this light. So once we uh, get in, we'll pull in the lot and let's see. Maybe there's a Trailblazer out front. I heard that they got one in, so we'll see if it's... Uh, somewhere where we can kind of take a quick look at it and see it in person for the first time because I've never seen one in person yet. So let's see if it's here. And there it is right out front. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna pull over and get out for a second. Oh, they got another one over here. Let me just you turn around here real quick. All right, so here it is. This is actually looking really cool. I like this. This is an all wheel drive LT model. Uh, looks real nice and sporty. You know, again, the Trailblazer is smaller. So when you look at it, it's going to be... Actually, it's a good comparison right there. Let's look at this one. Because on the rack there, the white one is a Trax. And then the Trailblazer is in front of it. So 
The Trailblazer is supposedly a little bigger than a Trax, but it's smaller than an Equinox. This one is also an all-wheel drive LT. Fuel economy 26 in the city, 30 on the highway. Uh, I don't know too much about it because it's a blank window sticker. But I think it's cool looking. Has sort of a blazer feel in the front. You know, with the headlights being lower and the LEDs up top. What do you guys think? When you compare it to like the tracks now, the tracks, it just now looks outdated. It looks completely outdated compared to this, this Trailblazer. I'm glad I stopped by. I like this one, it looks like a satin steel because you really see the contrast of some of the black trim around the, the panels and stuff like that. I'm not familiar with these packages yet. I haven't taken any of the tests. I haven't really done too much studying on it. I definitely will once we get to that point we're back to work. Is it unlocked? No. Cool, I'm glad I stopped. They got a lot of cars here too. Again, that's one of the benefits of working for this store. We have five different dealerships of inventory that we can sell from. So if I don't have it at my location, I can just go on the computer, see what the other stores have. And if uh, they have it, it's available, we'll just drive it over to our store and we'll sell it to you there. It's awesome having that much inventory to, to be able to sell. What's up guys, I'm just cutting in here real quick to explain something. Uh, a lot of times when I'm recording, every now and then you hit the button to record, but you don't hit it hard enough. And you go through a whole spiel about everything you wanna talk about, only to find out after a couple of minutes that you never actually recorded what you were just saying. That happened today. So when I turned the camera off, I actually turned it on to record. And this is exactly what my response was once I realized I didn't record everything I just said. Ah. There we go, Schumacher Chevrolet of Denville. We're back on the road. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stop off at our local diner. I'm gonna get myself something to eat. It's 12 o'clock. I haven't had breakfast yet. After I did my workout, I had the protein shake, that sort of thing, and then I came out to take the ride to the dealership to see what was going on. I'm glad I stopped over here again, so I got to take a quick look at the Trailblazer. Again, stay tuned for future videos once I get back to work, which I really can't wait to get back to work. I'm back here in the studio and I'm recording this actually before I edit everything you just watched. But uh, I did stop at the diner. I got myself a ham and cheese omelet. We got a double order of toast. We got a coffee. So I'm gonna enjoy that, edit this video up that you literally just watched and uh, I try to stay focused. I'm gonna to try to keep getting content out there to you. So this has been quarantine day 28. Tomorrow's Monday, day 29. I'll see you then.